In this video, I will show you how to plot the solution of 2D Laplace equation using GNU Octave or MATLAB. This example problem shows the steady-state local temperature distribution in 2D metal plate with given boundary conditions, but you can use the same working principle towards what you need. To support my channel, you know what to do. Consider a semi-infinite 2D metal plate with the width of L. The semi-infinite plate means the very long on positive y-axis, while the bottom surface set at the y equal to zero. The bottom surface temperature is 50 degrees Celsius, and the outer surface temperatures are zero degrees Celsius. We are interested in calculating the steady state to the local temperature distribution within the metal plate. T is a function of x and y. The beautiful color map represents the local temperature distribution, and light yellow area in the bottom represents the temperature near 50 degrees Celsius, and as you move along sides and top, it cools up towards 0 degrees Celsius. To determine the steady state local temperature, you need to solve Laplace equation for temperature T. To solve the Laplace equation, you need to work with the separation of variable approach but I will skip the hand calculation approach in this video since it will make this video longer. Instead, I show the final solution of the Laplace equation given below. You have multiple terms of exponential combined with the sine function with different coefficients. The exponential term is a function of y and sine is a function of x. The compact form of the solution can be written using the infinite sum with the coefficient related to n. At the end of this video, I will show you how to come up with the contour and surface plot for the steady state temperature distribution within the 2D metal plate. In the surface plot, the height of the curve represents the temperature, and you can see the higher temperature at the bottom and lower temperature as you move towards the positive y and towards the two side surfaces. The question comes, how to plot in GNE Octave or MATLAB. To plot, we need to start to define a few variables. Before we write a script, I typically start with the clear all, close all, to clear all existing variables and figure windows. Next line, I'm going to define the width of the metal plate, which is L equal to 5. Now, I also define my lower bound x equal to 0, upper bound x equal to L, and lower bound y equal to 0, and upper bound y equal to 2L. L maximum is supposed to be really large, I limit as 2L because this is good enough. I can show you 2L is enough when I plot the temperature distribution later. Now I also define my number of grid along the x-direction and the y-direction, which is equal to 5. So as you have more number of grid, that will give you smoother curve but I just use the 5 only for a demonstration purpose. Later on, I'm going to increase it to 100 or so. I also need to generate the row vector along the x-direction and y-direction as a 1D row vector, but in order to plot in surface or contour plot, we need to generate a the 2D based off of from 1D row vector x and y. So 1D row vector x is given as 1 by 5 row vector, from 0 to 5 with equal spacing. When you generate the mesh grid for the 2D plot, it will expand the 1D row vector towards the 2D by repeating each row towards the 5. So basically, this is a square matrix. When you take a look at the mesh grid of Y, row vector Y and repeat columnar direction. And going back to the script here, we need to calculate the local temperature distribution based on the analytical solution of Laplace equation, which is exponential followed by sine, along with the coefficient, one and one third and one fifth and so forth. Now at the end, we can multiply by 200 over the pi on top of the previous line. Now I also use a figure function to control the position and size of the figure, but we don't have to use this one so that you can simply skip it. Now, if you want to plot a contour plot, it will require mesh grid x and y, 
and temperature profile at the end. Then you can increase your line width to 3 and font size is 72. So this is optional. I also add X label and Y label as X and Y. And once you're ready, you can hit and run. Then you can see the temperature profile. So now this motion is a little bit kinky. So this kinky motion is related to limited number of grid. So I'm going to increase the number of grid. You can go back to line number 7 and 8. You can simply increase to 100. So run it again. You can see a much smoother curve. But the one of the issue here is that we need to have an infinite term. So in order to have an additional term here, you can keep repeating with a different number of n and run it again. And you can see a better result, but unless you add an infinite number of terms, you cannot really see a clear term. If you have extra time, willing to add an extra term manually, you can do that, but this is really painful. So instead, what you can do, you can use a for loop. The way that it works is you can use a cumulative sum. So cumulative sum, I think you can start with a t equal to zero, then as you add more term, you can keep on adding. So I define my number of terms that I wanted to add. Initially, I can add only first two terms. Since this is odd term only, so I add only one and two, but I just keep the equal spacing between first and second as a two. So I start with one and skipping by two until end, which is three at the moment. So I finish my for loop with end at the end. Then in the meantime, I can add 1 over n multiplied by exponential minus n pi y over l multiplied by sine n pi x over l. So make sure that you add a period in between so that you can operate it as an elementary wise multiplication. So this term is going to be add as you loop it. So that we need to add a coefficient 200 over pi so we can take care of it at once at the end. So when you run it again, you can see the same result. Now, nice thing about this for loop, we can expand your result by change only one parameter. You can make your solution better by increasing more n terms. Now, I can increase up to the 101. Now see, it works better. Now, if you want it to have really smooth, you can increase really large number to 1001. If you want to change your plot as a surface plot, you can use surf. So when you hit OK, you can see a nice curve. This is basically bottom of your metal plate. This is two side and this is positive Y. So probably I can change my angle a little bit here. So we have a better perspective. So initially, bottom temperature is 50 at the bottom. As you increase your Y, you can cool off your temperature. So in the two side, it's going to be zero. Thanks for watching this video until the end. And please subscribe my channel if you want to continue to watch tutorial videos in science, technology, engineering, and math. Please give thumbs up if you enjoyed. Please feel free to share your thoughts in comment section down below. See you next time.